I may not know where I'm going to, but I'll surely get there. The gods and ancestors of our land will surely guide me. I don't mean any harm. Please don't hurt me. I cannot hurt you, my daughter. What you must know is that this forest is too dangerous for a young woman like you. Where do you come from and where are you going? It's okay. From look of things, you are going to the next village. The distance is too far and the day is far spent. Come with me in the morning. You can continue your journey. Exactly what happened there, happened in this village. That's how I lost my family. The king of Atimsu initiated the war so that he can display the abundance of his land resources. Papa, tell me, where is this land and how does one get there? This direction is very difficult to enter. On the other side lies a great river. On the other end is an evil forest. But be warned, no one goes there and comes back. <laughs> Papa, death comes only that once.
afternoon. Good afternoon. May we help you? Yes. So I'm looking for the queen mother of this land. I have a message for her. This kingdom has no queen mother, but a king. You must be a stranger here. Yes. Uh, I'm coming from a drink room. Please, I need your help. I don't know anybody here and I'm tired and hungry. How can you just walk into a land? Amma, that's all right. Come with us. Our house is not far from here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey, Amma. This is your leg, yo. Please. <laughs> ah, sister. Yes. How are both of you doing? Fine. Fine. Cool. Any problem? No problem. No problem. Mm. No problem. Um. Is your father in? Yes. Can I call him? <laughs> Not necessary. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Hey, is this yeah, cool. <laughs> this is your chair. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, Papa. <laughs> hey, cool. Funny man. Oh, actually, he's the funniest man in the village. Oh. And he's the choice of everyone in this village. Oh. <laughs> so funny. Hmm. Who knows if she's a spy? Obusu. Why must Obusu hide such a secret from me? See you tomorrow morning. Tell Owusu that his attention is needed right here in this palace. It shall be done, Your Majesty. Yes, sir. Your Highness. My daughter, feel at home. Huh? Friendly here. Thank you, Papa. Ah, it's all right, it's all right. Abusia. Yes, Papa. I'm on my way to the village with you. Go well. I see. <laughs> Your father is such a good man. His words of comfort remind me of my own late parents. What happened to them? I lost them in a terrible cold war. Skilling everywhere. Whole village was up in flames, but I managed to escape. And it's the challenge to survive that has brought me to this village. And my mother, she was such a strong woman, gifted in craftsmanship. Unfortunately, I have the gift. I'm good for you. I can teach you. Okay. <laughs> hey, Akosha. Hey, Ko, you are back. What can we do for you? But you know, a toad does not appear in noon in vain. It's either after something or something is after eight. Akosua, where is your father? He's gone to the village meeting. At the village square? Yes. Tell him he's needed at the palace. Okay, huh? I'll tell him. Tell him. I will. Ah, why was he staring at me like that? Looking for what to tell the king. The poor girl was in great distress when they found her and she solicited for their help. So how could I have stopped them? 
You see, my problem is about strangers coming to spy on my kingdom. No, 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 no. This girl in my house cannot hurt a fly. When you see her, you will understand what I mean. In that case, I would like to see her first thing tomorrow morning. It shall be done, Anna. No. Don't say it shall be done. It's a must and it must be done. I know you. But, Buaji, he says he's bringing the girl tomorrow. What's your problem? Uh, about him. I think for once I agree with Buaji. We must see the girl at all costs. She must be brought here. Oh, so. I repeat, first thing tomorrow morning. The king demands that I bring you to the palace. Papa, why is she needed in the palace? I don't know, but the king is aware of her presence here. Papa, you scared her. What has she done? She's done nothing wrong. Papa, are you sure? I say she's done nothing wrong. Thank you very much for all that you've done for me. I really appreciate it. But I have to leave now. I'm no longer safe. Here. Thank you so much. Nanaya, please don't go. I promise that nothing will happen to you here, okay? Please. My daughter, don't be afraid. The king will not hurt you. He's a very good man. This is my kingdom. Who are you? And what do you want here? Your Highness, my name is Nanaya. We were jurists in Edukrum, but I lost my parents in the Great War, and I've come here in search of a livelihood with my talent. Talent. That sounds good. My daughter, you are welcome. I will not allow such a brilliant beauty to waste in my kingdom. Your talent will pave way for you in this kingdom. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, this is a special gold chain for my great 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 grandmother. Please keep it in token of your kindness towards me. This is beautiful. Yes. And you call this a token? Beautiful. Lest I forget, Wachi is my younger brother. One father, one mother. So if you have any problem, don't hesitate to see him. All right? Thank you very much, Your Highness. I'll do my best. As my brother said, Anything at all you want, just ask me. Don't hesitate at all. Oh. Okay. Okay. okay, let's go to the next room. You. And I owe it all to you and your family. I will never forget your courage and care. Nana, yeah, you're always welcome. Hey, please, sit down. Eh? First, I get you something to eat. Nana, yeah. Be quick, quick. So, 
How is your work? I can see you are happy there in the palace. Well, yes, I am. At least I get to use my talent. You can say that again. <laughs> hey, Akos. Uh, how is Papa? <laughs> you know Papa now. He's never at a place. He's gone out. Hey, Papa. Eh? Nana, yeah. Anyway, too bad I can't stay. I have to go. Oh, Nana, yeah. Won't you be stay for the food? I can't. I promise my master won't stay long. I've got lots of work to do. Nana, yeah. Okay, as you wish. Hey! Nana, yeah. <laughs> hey, Ama, watch the food. First, I see your open. I'll be okay. right back. Lovely work here. Beautiful. Mm. 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 Nanaya, there's something I've always wanted to tell you, you see. Uh, you see, mm. Mm. your beauty, eh? It greets like the early morning rising sun. Thanks for the compliment, my lord. I owe it all to you and his highness. Oh, good. Good. In fact, Nanaya. Do you know the eagle? Oh. And uh, you know how the eagle sets uh, its eyes on its prey? Oh, you see, my eyes are perched on you like how the eagle will target its prey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, I am the king in the waiting, Boachi. And you are the type of woman who sues the king in the waiting? Uh. No, come on, my angel. You don't walk out on me like that. Hmm? Anaya, you are my desire. You are the one I love. Hmm? Hmm? Is it wrong for a man to shout it out when he identifies his desire? No, my lord. But my only desire in this kingdom is to serve with all honesty. Anything about love is ruled out. I'm sorry, my lord. Nanaya. My queen, hmm? next time you want to address me, remove the word, sir. Huh? <laughs> um, I'm not Ajiman the king. I am Wachi. Hmm? Um, anyway, have you considered my proposal? And what proposal are you talking about, my lord? My queen, stop pretending. Hmm? Stop pretending. My love sermon of yesterday. Well, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I am not interested. <laughs> I'm not interested, my love. I'm not interested. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Me, 
Me do. Me do. Not interested, not interested, my friend. I'm so grateful, Your Highness. The kingdom under your leadership has put so much meaning into my life. Very soon, I will announce my further plans. Very soon. Thank you very much for the hard work. I will see you in the day. Your Highness. kingdom belongs to you and all the women are at your disposal. Oh! <laughs> so you know. <laughs> That's very interesting. You're right. Eh? That's why I'm here for you because you are at my disposal. I'm watching. <laughs> you better find a better song to sing. Mm, better song to sing? La la la. <laughs>
The king wants to see you now. Tell him I'm at the you. Okay. What do I do now? I have to tell the king. No. If I do, I'll be in big trouble. My God, why me? That bastard wants to destroy my life. I'll never forgive you, Boache, till I die. I will never Just as the sun rises from the east and sets toward the great land of our ancestors, so shall they reveal to His Majesty what lies ahead in the minds of our enemies. Because the ant that eats the leaves is inside the leaves. So put on the search light on your bosom, Your Majesty. I will carry out the commands of the oracles as soon as I get to the palace. May the kingdom of our majesty reign forever. The gods are very wise. And there can be no lies in their statement. Go now and call me the Council of Edens. And don't forget to call Bachi for me. It shall be done, Your Majesty. <laughs> Are you alright? Sit down, sit down. I haven't seen you for a while. I hope all is well with you. You are here, but I entrusted this girl's same child to you. I want you to tell me what her problem is. Problem? What problem are you talking about? Watch it. I don't want you to answer my question with a question. I repeat, tell me what her problem is. I don't know. I don't know. She only complained of uh, headache last night. That's all. I see. In that case, she will be confined in the palace. Now order the messenger to transfer her belongings to one of the royal cottage. After the sacrifice and purification, you move to live in this palace the riches of our heritage.
So, Ajima, you are yet to intimate me with the position of that slave girl you are bringing into the royal palace. Look, she is no more a slave, and she will not be. One thing you must know, Bwashi, is that there is a certain king on this throne whose orders must be carried out. If that's the case, just give me my part of the inheritance. That's all. Oh, I see. So I want you to divide the kingdom and give you half. Exactly. That is impossible. Impossible? Yes. Impossible. Then allow me to live my life the way the gods designed it. I see. That's all. So you are walking out on me? Ah. Oh. Anyway. I will wait to hear from the great oracle. Your pardon? Oracle or no oracle, the hand is already writing on the wall. Yes. yes. And what do you want again? Aren't you satisfied with your evil deed? What is happening between you and my brother, the king? Look here, Bajie. Whatever goes on between us is my private business. Look here, Bajie. You can't force me to love you. You defile me and you call that love. Please get out of my room now. <laughs> uh. Are you forgetting so soon? Huh? That I vowed to love you when I entered into you the other day? Huh? Listen, if you don't leave now, I will scream so loud. And you know what I will mean? Oh, you want to scream? Scream! Go ahead! Shout! Or even cry aloud! But I will consider that as one voice of love. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you are going? What were you doing with your brother? What were you doing with your brother? I said, what were you doing? Tell me. Tell me. What do you think you're going? You want to sleep with my brother? What do you think you're going? Tell me. What were you doing with my brother? I'll kill you. Sewa. Sewa. I'm coming. Your Highness. What is wrong with her? Your Highness. She suffered excessive bleeding. I suspect that she's pregnant. How do you mean? Impossible. Pregnant for who? And through what means? I need an answer. That is one question she will have to answer when she recovers. Your Majesty. Your Majesty! The great land is defiled right on the corridors of power. Can you be precise, great one? The stranger in the palace 
has been tampered with. She only can speak when she recovers. And upon her confession, this land must be cleansed. It is evil! Else calamity shall fall upon us. What have you done? In confidence, I have handed you a priceless treasure. Now your wickedness has divided the price of integrity of this royal throne. What throne are you talking about? What throne are you talking about? Is that a subject in question here? Yeah? Oh, Ajiman, this is another trick of yours to deprive me of what rightfully belongs to me. Deprive you of what? Deprive you of what, Wachi? What are you talking about? Look, you want to defy tradition and not sit the reigning king. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Because the girls have refused to give in an issue who will ascend the throne one day. But remember, the girls are very wise. <laughs> <laughs> the wishful thinking of a dying monarch. Look, Vachi, I promise you this that your days in this kingdom are numbered. In that case, when that happens, I will then tell you that it is only when a man impregnates a fellow man that is when a woman sees him and run away. No one fights for me. The gods will fight for me. The gods will fight for us! You are under oath. Let the gods know what has transpired. This is not a time for tears and sorrows. It is a critical moment of decision for my throne. So please, please, remember your vow to me. Please. It's what Watch you default and raped me in the bush on the way to the river. Oh, hey. what? What? Watch it. Abomination. Hey. You mean my own brother, Watch it, raped you? Watch it. Gods of Abimso. What am I hearing with my ears? between us was under the bond of love. Oh, what bond of love is that? That you rape an innocent woman in the bush. That is an abomination of the highest order. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame. Watch it. Do you know the implications of your act? I don't know. But when love takes root in one's heart, any place is considered sacred. Including the bush, I suppose. 
Watch it. You've sold your heart. Shameless outcast. Let me tell you this. I will not hide you on the brotherhood to deny justice. Whatever you must pay for your act, you must pay. I have spoken. Of a pencil. Cause of a pencil. Cause of a pencil. Hear your humble servant as I speak. The land will be purified for 21 days, while Bachi will be banished from this great kingdom <laughs> until we hear from the Gauls again. see your grand plan to deprive me of my inheritance. When the gods are away, the mice begin to play. Now I can believe that saying. Uh -huh. You are sending me away to have Nanaya, to lay your hands on Nanaya. Go ahead, fine, go ahead, have there. But let me tell you, I will come back to settle this call with you once and for all. Believe me, Waji. It is said that the evil that men do lives after them. That was then. Now, the evil that we do lives with us. <laughs> I'm leaving tomorrow morning. But remember, by doing this and leaving me alive means you don't know the meaning of the name Boachi. Good day, your highness. Your love is buried in my love and is so much alive in my heart. I will love you forever, even in isolation. Goodbye, my love. Wherever I am, Wherever you are, I will always remember you. Goodbye, my love. my heart. Maybe he actually loves you. And he shows it by raping me. 
Do you want to follow him? Oh, Nana, yeah. God say as the reason why we have not been blessed with a child on the throne or have we done anything wrong if not I need a child from her as a token of my love for her Oh, Mama Jume. Hey, oh, Mama Jume. Neba! Neba. Peche. <laughs> ah, you see? A child will cry on the great throne of his majesty at the right time. <laughs> so say the gods. <laughs> What have we done? That the gods refuse to seal our love with a child that I can call my own in the hands of the one I love. You worry too much, my dear. The gods are not to be blamed. No matter what the situation is, my affection for you is greater than thousand sons and daughters. I love you. You don't understand, Your Highness. I just don't need a child because of the throne, but because of the love I have for you. The throne can come and go, but love remains forever. I understand, my love. Stop crying. Stop crying. Look, no amount of tears can change the decisions of the girls. I love you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you. I love you. Well, Adams, um, this is a Jadu's case that we sat on last week. After much consideration, I think that that man is being too greedy. Very greedy. A Jadu wants to grab every piece of land in this kingdom. If we are not careful, he will start grabbing us too. God forbid. So is this right? Oba him. You better do something about this situation. I personally spoke with Nana. I don't have anything to say now. Let's just wait for him. Well, if that's what. There shall be a sacrifice tonight after which the gods will speak once again. How did you get this information? You know me. You know for it. Ah. My ears are always on the ground. Not a wind passes without me here. I have all information from my pencil, my palm here. <laughs> uh, 
Consider this gift as the gift of the mermaid. The gift of the mermaid is like a two edged sword. It can make you or kill you. <laughs> no problem. No problem, my majesty. No problem. You are the great king of Afemso in the making. Reaches to the land of the dead. <laughs> there are times and seasons for everything on this earth. <laughs> Ajiman, Ajiman, you are dying. You are dying. Your time is gone. And my time has come. Watch it. <laughs> my love, my love. There's more time. No need to hurry. Because I will take time to massage you, squeeze your body, rearrange your bones and your veins to suit Wachi the way he prefers it. <coughs> 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 me the most is that my cherished husband would not live to see his baby. What? A baby? Are you pregnant? The mouth of the gods have spoken and the hands of the gods will protect you. Don't worry. The king will not die. But I'm so afraid because of the words of his mouth. That is 
the sound of sacrifice. We have to leave now. We will see you tomorrow morning, okay? Please. Take, heart. Take care of yourself. Take care of Thank you. Ampama. Yes, Your Highness. Don't forget to extend my greetings to Papa. We will tell you. Take courage, eh? Sleep well. respect and honor to my fallen brother. You are welcome. But I advise you not to dance Kiwazi dance. Because Kiwazi dance is the dance of the spirit. I will dance the deteriorated dance. Before do the deteriorated dance. Hey, deteriorated, 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 deteriorated. Enough. 
<laughs> I can see the steps of your titrity dance is the dance of the great man. But Kiwazi dance is the dance of the spirit! <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, how I missed you. <laughs> you know what? Everything that I sense will surely descend one day. Hmm? And when a man inherits land, he inherits everything on it, including everything beside it. My dear. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to return to the one I love. To and now that all obstacles are out of the way, my queen shall always be beside me all the time. Huh? <laughs> oh, what do you think? Nothing. It's just that these days I eat a lot. I just finished eating. Oh. Oh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh. Anyway, I will advise you to eat more. Because tonight. It's my night. <laughs> <laughs> Find her. I made them search all over the land and along the coast. Your Majesty, but to no avail. Your Majesty, I presume she might have returned to her homeland. You know? Where? 
They hide the treasure. Tell me. I know. Tell me where they hide the treasure. I know. Tell me. I know. Tell me where.
Husband of yours. <coughs> Where is he from? Please talk to me. How can I trace him? Please talk to me. Don't go. How can I trace him? I, your highness, the gods have refused to talk. How do you mean? He has been giving his sacrifice, so he must talk. In fact, I want you to make him talk now! Hmm. Ah! Krono! Goto! No fear on it! Over normal! No fear on it! Over normal! Krono! Krono Goto! I see clouds of calamity heading towards the great sea and descending upon the land of gold. Your Highness, we will have to wait for the mouth of the gods to speak. Tell me, is the queen dead or not? <laughs> ah! Betty! Afiana! Hmm. Atiana! Come on, Gwaji! The rising of the sun towards the mighty... Break up those rhetorics and answer my question! I will only answer your question when the gods answer mine. Hmm! Hmm! What are you looking at? Follow me. I will see you later. <laughs> so, woman. Why have you decided to see me at this time of the day? Your Majesty. Your maid servant has come to reveal a secret to you. Secret? secret. 
Majesty, me or Fori? Do as I command. Go. Now, woman, I'm all ears for your information. Your Majesty, the Queen was a close friend to my family. Before her sudden disappearance, she confided in me that she's carrying a baby for your late brother. Baby? Baby? For my brother? Make sure you don't reveal this information to anyone else. Not even your father. Hmm? Yes, Your Majesty. I will do as the king's mouth commands. Cool. And any interest for this information? Your Majesty. I don't mind being the next queen in your kingdom. Your Majesty, I use this title not because of the one who sits on the throne, but because it is the symbol of this great land. What are you trying to tell me, Nyansa? Are you trying to say that I am not worthy of this throne, my own father's throne? That is not why we are here. Never in the history of this great land has the subjects suffered so much in the hands of a reigning monarch. We are suffering. A lot of sicknesses around. Our farms are no longer yielding fruits. Animals are dying. Our great river is drying up. We need to do something. And it must be now. So you are sitting here and telling me how to manage my own kingdom? Your Highness, you must remember that the late king was not as harsh as you are when dealing with the elders and the oracle. Oh, yes. You are very right. Every king, you should remember, has his own style of administering his kingdom. This is Kim Wachi's style! Huh? And do remember that the stubborn fly ends up in the grave. And if I may ask, where is the Queen Mother? Hmm? Queen Mother? Yes. Woman, I don't believe in women. Huh? Women have been the cause of the downfall of heroes. Brave men, heroes like me, Bwachi. Are you sure? You. Look at you. You asking me questions? Yes. Huh? You asking me questions? Hmm? As we arrived at the village of Kala, we reliably guarded that the late king's wife died several months ago. And as a sign of proof, I brought by the sun from her grave, in which she was buried.
What have you been doing that you are sweating so much? I have been practicing the stick fights that you taught me, man. I knew it. Yes. Yes, mommy. But for the meantime, let me go and get drinking water. The river. It's not too safe for young women like you now. But if you insist, I'll go with you. No, mommy. You cannot do everything for me in life. I have to fight for my destiny. Nothing will happen to me. This is the land of my birth. like your gods. You speak like the Amazon you are. Wait. Always wear me this chain anytime I'm going alone. Because it makes you look beautiful. Thank you, mommy. Let me go and come. I shall be back. Last time, Aku called me a bastard. Am I really a bastard? Bastard? God forbid. You are not my daughter. Your father traveled to the great land of gold, where he works, but he refused to come back. Why? Because when I had you, 
and he discovered you were a girl. He was sad. Don't worry, mommy. I promise you that I will make him run back, begging you. Thank you, my daughter. You are as brave as your grandfather and as beautiful as your father. Thank you, ma'am. Elders, you are all welcome. I called you here to announce to you my plans for the final funeral ceremonies for my late father and the ex-king. Look at this tube of yam. The biggest the land has ever produced in this season. Your Majesty, you are talking about the dead, whilst the living are perishing. What do you want me to do? Am I the gods? Me and Yami. Your Majesty, you are not the god. You are not the god. Shut up, Ofori. Shut up. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. You are a hypocrite. Nana, Nana Wati. No, Nana, did you hear what he just said? Very right, very well. Hey, Your Majesty, this is a critical moment in the history of this land. For this is the first time this land is experiencing this. I believe strongly that our great throne is defiled. Defiled? Yes. Those of you who have been rebelling against this throne are the ones who are defiling this throne. Yes. Go and cleanse yourselves from your evil deeds, you evil men. Evil? Did you call us evil? Yes, he said it. Your Highness, we know this exalted throne more than you do. I will advise that you reconcile with the kingmakers so that we can jointly seek the oracle. You need wisdom to overcome this situation. I'm going. Long live the throne. And me? Fala kalaya, fala kalaya. Mukobi nuko meto, fala kalaya. Mukobi nuko meto, fala kalaya. Your Highness, bad news, Your Highness. For him. What bad news? I don't know. Ofori, it must be you. I suspect you. I suspect you. of a pencil. So what is happening to us? Strange things are happening. That is why I'm prepared to fight to the end. The mouth of the great ones has again uttered the truth coming from the land of the dark. 
Our royal throne lies in abomination and horror! There is a majesty crying in the forest, pointing to the exalted throne of the forefathers as inheritance. Your Highness, the throne upon which you sit belongs to the rightful owner. Oh, you are in the down. Ufori, Your Majesty. Is this madman drunk? Very, very drunk. Oh? Or, or what? Are you drunk? What rubbish are you talking about? This is not my words. It is the words of the gods. The gods are angry. That the rightful owner of the throne must be found. That is the cure for all these calamities in our land. The gods must be crazy! The oracle is talking rubbish! Huh? The oracle, they have unleashed their usefulness and must be destroyed immediately! Go and tell those useless gods that I, Wachi, say so! servant has delivered the message according But they have refused to honor the royal call. What? They have refused to honor my call? Yes, my highness. Your Majesty, I told you. I told you. It is Yansa. Yansa. Your Majesty, will you allow them to go? Oh, sorry. You talk like a drunk. <laughs> play with Bwachi. You better play with the rattlesnake. Because Bwachi is more dangerous than the rattlesnake. Yes! That is my king! The great Alfonso king! The, 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 the. 
Uh, as I was saying, have you taken the baby to see the native doctor? <laughs> I've been to almost all the shrines and native doctors to no avail. <laughs> no single sick person has been healed in this life. <laughs> yes, sir. There's something wrong somewhere. <laughs> Woman, don't worry and cry no more. The gods are listening to the voice of their children. Take the baby to the chief priest. He must have a solution to that. Total number of ten children have died in this village mysteriously. Ochi, it is time we take some drastic, drastic, drastic measures against that man. Look, there is no sickness without a cure. Bachi must be taken out of that seat. He must be taken out of that room. Look, Yansa, ask him, Bwachi, to step down from this room. It's like looking for a pin in the dark. He's not invisible. Then what might we do? Yes. Let's go. Let's go then. Better go. Let's go. Mind him. He is not the rightful owner to that room, and he's still using it to manipulate people. I knew this was what was going to happen. Immediately, his brother died. <laughs> but my sister, the kingmakers, were they blind when they installed him on the throne? Didn't they consult the oracle? They knew what they are doing. Let's hurry up before the stream dries up. Chief priest, God's of Pimso. Hey! What? That is the greatest lie the oracles could ever utter. It is very clear in the eyes of every 
peace loving person in this land. That my brother, Ajiman, did not have a child before he died. It was the gods who removed his outcast wife from this land and committed her to die because of the great lies she told against me. Yes, against us, against us. <laughs> the gods cannot lie, but because it's been mixed with human influence, and that is the problem. That is the problem. Your Highness, as we approached the road leading to the great forest, we, 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 we saw the dead body of the chief priest with a scepter in his left hand. Your Highness, that is not all. The way he looks, it seems he was murdered. Hmm. Hmm. What a disappointment. How come? This great land of ours has been indeed defiled. <laughs> the sculptor must be returned to this palace immediately. Go, Your Highness. Go and get the scripture. It shall be done. No, come. I forgot. Slip of tongue. You are a semi outcast. Ofori, Your Majesty. You do that. I'll do that. Great gods of Apemso. This great land of ours has been defiled by those bastards and evil men. We shall see. We shall see. Yansa, we are in trouble. The mouth of the opposition are gradually silenced. Huh? What crime is as big as this? How many of us can he assassinate? The voice of the gods are not the voice of men. And unless the new chief priest decides to back him, there and then he will see the wrath of the gods. And who is the new successor the oracle spoke about? Let's leave the answer to the gods. Your Highness, we are here to find out who killed the chief priest. The chief priest? Yes. 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 He committed sacrilege when he lied against the great gods of this land. That's why the scepter was found in his left hand. Yes, that's true. Not true. Very, very true. Not
This is the man in charge of the oracles from now onwards. He is a proven man of wisdom. Take. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Highness, elders of Apimsu, I am accepting this responsibility because the mantle falls on me. And I will equally report the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, cause of Apimsu. Well spoken. Good. Your Majesty, I have something to say. Especially to the chief priests. Go ahead. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. Uh, or succeed. What are you implying? Huh? Go and search for the rightful owner. And prosperity shall return to this great land. Your Holiness, this person in question, where can you find him? Organize for women of wisdom. Let them go beyond the great seas and across the great forests. The gods are going to open their eyes to see. You must not allow anyone to know what you have proposed in your heart. Go. Go in peace. The gods. Go! Go! Thank you, great one. Thank you. Let's go. You see, this palm lives in your mouth. No matter how far you travel on this journey, it will never get dry. When it dries, it means there's trouble.
Settle down here. Your message was adequately executed, Your Majesty. But it was revealed that she was among the search party. Search party? Search party for what? Your Majesty, they have gone in search of the king. I beg your pardon? Did I hear you say the king? Your Majesty, the King! They have gone in search of their kin. Good. Good boy. Good boy. A king in a pencil? A pencil to have two kings? Impossible! Yes! Impossible! Very, very impossible! Hmm. This throne belongs to me! Yes! This throne belongs to us! No one born of a woman will ascend this throne! If it takes me to spill blood, I will spill it to retain this throne. Or even sacrifice your head. I'll do it. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, this thing is becoming a threat now. I beg. Yes. Did you say it's a threat? Your Majesty. No, it's not a threat. It's a promise. Yes. A promise. Yes. It is a promise. North side of the evil forest. The rest of you, watch over the great sea. No stranger shall enter this kingdom without my knowledge. Yes, your highness, without our knowledge. I'm sorry. I mean, without your knowledge, your highness. And 
you, for you, or for him. When death comes, come here. Please die for me. I will die for you, Your Highness. Did I say I will die for you? How? I, the dog, demand you throw the bone on the floor and forget about my fight with the spirits. Did you get that? Your Highness, I'm about to. Better. Finally, the time has come. The time has come. The time has come. Great Oracle Point, northwest over the Great River. Are you sure we are not missing the way? The gods cannot lie. Let us go. Who and who did you send out there to search for a faceless challenger to my throne? Answer first! Traitor! I recommended you for the sacred and insulted position to be the mouthpiece of this land! Yet, you betrayed me? Imagine this, Your Majesty. He betrayed us! I did not betray you, Your Majesty. Only the voice of the gods spoke to me. Gods. 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 This useless, hopeless, speechless, stupid gods. into this kingdom. This throne belongs to me. 
and the children of Wachi will rule this kingdom forever! Vanish! Gods! Your stupid gods should save me. I have slapped you. Where are they? We can even slap you again. When the wind blows, the annals of the farm shall be revealed. And the annals of the same fowl shall be closed, including the wind that reveals it. <laughs> Girls of a pencil. I love last. And it is said that he who loves last, last the best. Girls of a pencil. When a man is drowning in a river, he fights back with his last breath. It will not save you. Not now. The death that kills the dog would not let it smell shit. <laughs> Cause of a pencil. Don't worry, I can do it myself. I want to hold it. Don't worry. wrong with you people? Please stop embarrassing me. Your Highness, you won't understand. 
Are you people? And what do you want from me? Your Highness, we are very hungry. Point of correction. I am not the queen or the princess of this land. My name is Ja. Ja Asantua. Yes. Yes. We understand, but we would like to follow you home, Your Highness. Ah! Don't you understand what I'm saying? I said I am not Your Highness. What is this Your Highness, Your Highness? Now we know the cause does not lie. We are from Apemso. The land of gold across the great river with the mission. We have found the destiny of our land in the world. Can you be specific? My lords, I don't understand your mission here. We have seen the hair of the great one of Apemso. We searched for years for the great one. And today, our hearts know joy. You are at the right home. This was exactly the message her mother gave me when she was dying, after the birth of the child. Yes. The gold chain on her neck proved all the evidence that we have found the one whom the girl spoke about. the queen? Yes. A beautiful, strong, and energetic warrior, like queens the gods reveal to us. The woman she lives with also told us she was handed to her by the late King Najiman's wife, Nanaya. On her neck, was the golden locket her mother once wore in the palace. Really? Nanaya is 
Mr. Life? Why didn't you people tell me, Your Majesty? Your servants did not lie to your holiness. Huh? The queen they discovered is the child of the late ex-queen. <gasps> Go now and find out the whereabouts of the queen. As soon as possible! If she steps into this land, she will witness the greatest battle ever! 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 I promise! Shine the moon. <laughs> <laughs> 